So in this video, we're gonna learn how to solve quadratics, okay? So what this is actually allowing us to do is solving quadratics for the roots of the equation. Now, if you remember, the roots of the equation are where it cuts the x-axis, okay? So these values are gonna be x equals something. We're gonna, and if you remember previously, we learned about the quadratics, there was two roots, except in certain situations. So we're gonna have two answers when we solve these. And the way we do it is you make sure they're equal to zero. It's always a bit of an issue with this one. And then we already know how to do this. All we need to do is factorize, okay? So we factorize like we did before. First times last, 15, so one and 15, three and five. So it's got to be that one. So we're gonna have x squared plus three x plus 5x plus 15 equals zero. And then common factor, common factor of five, but don't forget that it's now equal to zero. And then we can write it out as x plus three and x plus five. But now what do we do here is the extra step is we take each of these brackets and make them both equal to zero. So we're gonna have x plus three equals zero and x plus five equals zero. And then all we need to do is solve these small equations. So that means x equals negative three and x equals negative five. And that's how you solve a quadratic. It's just factorizing and then doing a little bit extra at this point. So let's do another one. First times last. And then we write down the pairs of factors. It's negative, which means one's gonna be positive and one's gonna be negative, and we need to make negative four x. So we need to have negative six, positive two. So we're gonna get x squared plus two x minus six x minus 12 equals zero. Common factor of x. Common factor of negative six. Don't forget the mic, the equals zero. And then so we're gonna get x plus two and x minus six, all equals zero. Let's put the brackets. So we're gonna x plus two equals zero and x minus six equals zero, which means that x is gonna equal negative two and x is gonna equal six, two solutions. Okay, so two more. First times last, one, twelve, two, six, three, four. So one's got to be positive, one's got to be negative. So we're gonna to have to have positive and negative there. So two x squared plus four x minus three x minus six equals zero. Common factor of two x Common factor of negative three, which means we're gonna have x plus two and two x minus three. Break up the brackets. And then solve them. So we'll do this in two steps, two x would equal three, and then so x would equal three over two, or 1.5, or we'd leave it as a fraction, okay? Now, try to remember what I said at the start, they need to equal zero. So before you can solve a quadratic by factorizing, the equation must equal zero. This one does not. But all we need to do to, do to make it equal zero is take these terms over. So that minus two x will become a plus two x, and that plus 24 will become a minus 24. Now that it's equal to zero, I can solve it by factorizing. One thing to take to 24, let's make it 24. 12, three, eight, four and six. Okay, let's make plus two. So it's gonna be positive six, negative four. So we have x squared minus four x plus six x minus 24 
equals zero. We get x bracket x minus four plus six bracket x minus four. And then we can take out that that's gonna be x minus four and x plus six. So that means x minus four equals zero and x plus six equals zero. So that means x equals four and x equals negative six. So that is how you solve quadratics.